Welcome to Wally, where the planet is trash. Okay, planet Earth is literally trash. Well, not literally, it's covered in garbage, okay? And it's too toxic to live on, so humans were forced to abandon ship and go live in space on these big massive spaceships produced by a company called Binil. And they left behind a bunch of robots called Wall-E's to clean up the place so they can come back in a few years' time and fix up Earth. Now all these Wall-E's are dead, except for one, our main boy Wally here. He's still kicking, cleaning up the Earth for our ungrateful asses with his little cockroach buddy. And he survived all this time by hiding from dust storms in a bigger Wall-E and taking replacement parts from other non-functioning wallies. So he's basically living inside his fallen brothers and stealing their body parts. I don't know why I was so compelled to point that out. So he goes home where he keeps a bunch of shit that interests him and deposits some more interesting stuff that he found on his day. And that is some bullshit right there because there's no way he found just six spoons and seven forks throughout all these years. Anyway, he's playing a random old movie and we find out that our boy Wally here is looking for love. He's looking for some McLovin, baby. He, he lonely, you know. Then a dust storm hits him and he closes the door, goes to sleep, wakes up next morning with a super low battery level so he goes to charge himself up from the sun, then heads off to work after nearly killing his only friend. So he at work compacting some trash and finding some random shit that he wants to take home with him, and then he finds a palant. So he digs it out of the ground and puts it in a shoe to take home with him. How he knew to do that and not just rip it out the fucking ground? I don't know. In fact, now that I think about it, how the fuck does a plant even grow inside a fridge? They know someone in there. So he goes home and he finds a red dot, and apparently he has a built-in cat module or some shit because he runs after that dot. And as it turns out, that dot is a landing mark of one of Elon Musk's fancy self-landing rockets. Then he digs a hole into the ground and buries himself to avoid burning to death from the fucking flaming rocket. Then the rocket opens up and releases, wait for it, an egg. Then it fucks off and once again, so he doesn't burn to death, he hides himself in the ground. Which honestly, I don't think he should have survived this or the one before. There's just no way he can dig a hole deep enough to escape the heat of that fucking rocket. And as much as I love this movie, there's just so many occasions where Wally should have just flat out fucking died. So to get that out of the way, I'm going to show them all here right now. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Now back to the egg and it's scanning the place looking for something and it will kill anything that moves. Okay, I understand that they're playing on the gag that cockroaches can survive a nuclear blast and shit, but I'm pretty sure by that they mean the radiation, not the blast itself. This thing should be dead, right? Right? Anyway, the egg also attempts to murder Wally multiple times before it decides that Wally is not a threat. That, however, does not stop Wally from looking at her like, I'm a tap dead ass. So the egg keeps scanning shit while ignoring Wally who's being a creepy stalker right now. Then it gets frustrated because it ain't fine what it came looking for. And after getting stuck in a magnet, it blows up and destroys five oil tankers. Wally sees this and he decides that now is the time for him to shoot his shot, baby. He's going for it. And he finds out that her name is Eva. That's right, it's a she. I think. I don't know. Then a dust storm hits and Wally decides to take her back to his pad for safety. I'd say this is going perfectly for Wally so far. So he takes her home and the crazy ass bitch tries to blow a hole through his wall and he shows her some of the stuff in his interesting collection of random shit. Then he shows her the movie from earlier and tries to teach her how to fucking dance. But this crazy ass hole nearly ruins his house and almost kills him. Listen my guy, I know you're lonely, but this one crazy ass bitch dude. Anyway, she only busts his eye up and he goes over to his stuff and gets a replacement part and fixes himself easy. He tries to hold her hand and she's like nah. She sees the hand holding part in the movie and he shows her one last thing, the plant. And it turns out that that plant is exactly what she's looking for. So she sucks it up and shuts down. And Wally's like, uh, the fuck just happened? And he's super concerned, so he tries to turn her back on to no avail, then he cares for her and then goes on dates with her unconscious body, you know, the usual. Till one day he decides to go back to work, and on that day, Elon Musk's rocket comes back to take Eva. So he rushes back and tells his buddy to stay put while he hangs on for dear life while they exit the trash-filled atmosphere and travel through space till they get to the Axiom, which is the main and biggest human colony spaceship place in space colony for people. Yeah. Sounds about right. The rocket docks inside the spaceship and lines up a bunch of Evas to get cleaned by a bunch of robots that Wally keeps annoying. Then the 5 takes Wally's Eva because she got the plant. So he follows her and leaves a trail of muddy tracks behind him. And the main cleaning robot really wants to clean it, but he has to stay on the predetermined line. So he's like, Fuck the system. And starts cleaning up the tracks, but he does not start from the beginning. Fucking idiot. So while he's still following Eva, he fucks with traffic, then he gets his first glimpse of the modern human, who are basically fat blobs of mass stuck to their hover chairs with their eyes glued to the screens of their infotainment systems, completely oblivious to their surroundings. Much like me, except my chair doesn't float. So one of the fat fucks gets knocked over, and while he helps him up, then he gets on a train that Eva's on, and he tries to get to her, but this fat bitch is in the way, so he's like, hey, 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 lady, hey, woman, woman. Oh shit, uh. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Wally. Can you please move out the fucking way? I'm trying to get to my girl. 
thank you. So the 5-0 escort Wally and Eva to the captain's headquarters and as it turns out, humans fucked up the earth so bad that they spent 700 years in space. And their bone density right now is basically non-existent because they spent so long in microgravity. However, they made it pretty goddamn obvious that they have some sort of artificial gravity so this shouldn't happen. This doesn't make any sense. I am confusion. Anyhow, now that there's finally signs of life on earth, they can go back and rebuild it. So they start up Eva and while this dipshit's trying to figure out how to read a book, Eva finds out that Wally has followed her here from earth. Then the captain figures out that they have to put a plant in some plant activation chamber thing that will activate the let's go home protocol that's what I'm calling it. So they open up Eva and they find nothing. Plant's gone. And the captain's like well I guess we ain't going nowhere and thinks that Eva is a defective robot so he sends her to get fixed. Then he gets startled by Wally and Wally's like sup I'm Wally nice to meet you and here's some dirt. So the captain also orders for Wally to be cleaned. Eva and Wally get to the robot fixing place and they start running diagnostics on Eva I think. But that's not what it looks like to Wally. He thinks they're torturing her. So he frees himself and then goes to free Eva and then accidentally frees all the fucked up robots in the place who praise him because he freed them. And they run wild with him in the streets till they get stopped by the Popo who deem Eva and Wally fugitives of the law. So Eva takes Wally to an escape pod so she can send him back to earth but then the fuzz shows up with the plant. And they want to send it off into space and blow it up using the pod's self-destruct mechanism. And Wally's like hey Eva check it out the plant. <laughs> So Wally accidentally gets launched out with a plant and Eva goes after him while he freaks out and tries to get out the fucking pod but he explodes and dies. Psych! He does not die. My boy Wally made it out in time with a fire extinguisher and he flies over to Eva. And not only did he live but he also got the plant with him baby and Eva is chuffed to bits. So she hugs him and their heads do this little bzzz thing and I have no idea what that means but he likes it. Then they fly out in space and have some fun cause they ain't in no rush, they ain't no deadline on this shit. They get back on the ship and all the while Wally just really wanted to hold her hand like in the movie. But she's hyper focused on getting that plan up to the captain. So she tells him to stay put while she goes up to trash you to the captain who has been binge watching videos about earth ever since he analyzed the dirt that Wally put in his hand. And the captain takes the plant and puts a projector thing on Eva's head to see what earth is like right now and he finds out that it is as I said before garbage. So he's like we have to go back and care for earth and fix it up and shit. While Eva gets to see how Wally cared for her when she was shut off and it is cute as fuck. Then the autopilot comes down to take the plan away from the captain because it is revealed that a few years after the axiom took off the president of Benil or the president of America, whatever, I don't care. Some dude sent a message saying that the earth is too fucked to come back and it's way too toxic, never come back. And he basically left the chip, the chip, and he basically left the sip the sip and he basically left the ship in charge of the autopilot but now obviously it's not that toxic because boom plant but the autopilot don't care so he gets the police to throw the plant down the trash chute but lo and behold everybody because Wally's climbing up the trash chute and he tries to keep the plant away from the autopilot while Eva is held back by the police but the autopilot electrocutes him and somehow although he was literally struck by lightning twice before and came out fine this damages him fuck logic anyway Wally gets thrown out the trash and they turn off Eva and throw her down with him so a little while later we cut to the garbage dump where Eva gets rebooted by mice what the fuck are those things Eva and Wally get trash compacted by bigger Wallies, but this time they're Wallahs because they're on the Axiom and the E in Wally stands for Earth and these are unimportant details, why am I talking about this moving on? Because they're about to get thrown into space, but you remember that stupid little cleaning robot that was so insistent on cleaning his tracks? Well that's one persistent stupid little cleaning robot because he found Wally and he wants his ass. So he sprints over to the airlock doors and wedges himself in there and with the help of the bigger Wallahs, Eva and Wally get saved. Now throughout all of this I have just one question, how the fuck do you find materials for anything on the ship if you throw out this much trash? So Wally's got some sort of fucked circuit board or some shit, which means he's dying. Hold up, that's the damage? Man, Wally shouldn't even be functional, I can stick my finger through that shit. And Eva is worried as fuck, scouring the trash looking for replacement parts that all won't work. So Wally hands her the plant so she can put it in the plant chamber return thing so they can go back to planet earth, but she's like nah, let's hold hands. Bitch, I'm dying here, ain't no time for that shit, we gotta go back to planet earth and find me some replacement parts, dumbass. So that finally clicks in her head and they bust that out of there and they fuck up the police with the help of the defective robots. The captain and fights the autopilot and he opens up the plant chamber go home thing and even while they're flying over to that thing so they can put the plant in it but last second the autopilot tilts the entire ship to the side preventing them from doing that and knocking the plant out of their hands and I don't even know why this is a feature in the ship I mean you're standing still in fucking space why do you need to do this why is this an option anyway Eva sets Wally down and goes to look for the plant but then gets occupied by saving a bunch of people from a falling train then the autopilot presses the button that closes the plant hatch but feeble little Wally's there and he's trying to hold the hatch open with all his might then the autopilot presses the button harder and as we all know pressing the button harder is 100% effective in getting the thing done better and the hatch closes harder and it wedges Wally and destroys him and all our hearts fucking sink but then the captain stands up I don't know how he has celery sticks for bones in his legs but that doesn't matter he stands up and he turns off the autopilot levels the ship Eva puts the plan through the gap in the plan thing and sees the extent of Wally's damage and he's he's fucked then they hyper jump back to earth they get there Eva takes Wally and she zooms over to his house and finds replacement parts and tries to fix him up as fast as he can she's performing open heart 
hard charging on this motherfucker at supersonic speed. Then she blasts the hole through his roof so he can charge via solar panels. Much like why? Just take him up to the roof. Why you have to fucking blow up my man's house like that? Come on, dude. Anyway, he charges up and turns on and he does not recognize her. It's, it's, he's gone, man. There's no more Wally. The lights are on, but no one's home. So she tries to jog his memory with some of his old stuff, but it doesn't work, man. He just compacts it. And that's one strong light bulb. What the fuck? Doesn't matter. He goes out and finds some more trash to compact. And then she goes over one last time to try and shake it out of him, but nothing. So she holds his hand and rests her head against his. And then that little spark happens. And I still have no clue what it does or what it means. But I sure as hell don't give a fuck because it brought Wally back, baby. And the movie ends with the humans being able to rebuild the earth and all that fun jazz. But who cares, will you? The important thing here is Wally. Why is it all good? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Anybody who hates this movie can suck a dick. I don't even care. 10 out of 10.